Methylation. How do I know if my body is struggling with methylation, right? I'm going to be writing a bunch of stuff down here. So if you want to pause it real quick, take some notes because this can be really, really helpful. If you've been wondering about methylation issues or if your body's like, ah, I'm not sure if I'm detoxing correctly. I'm doing this detox thing. Am, am I doing it right? It doesn't, it doesn't feel the same for me. Yeah. It could be because you're not methylating. So, um, so how do I know? How do I know if, if I'm not methylating, right? What does it mean to methylate, right? It is part of a process that every cell uses. It is part of DNA repair in your body. It, part, um, it is part of inflammatory regulation, detoxification, all this stuff. Like it's literally a part of everything. And when we talk about um, like genetics especially, this is oftentimes a genetic issue where your body does not methylate very well. Most people are familiar with the term MTHFR. I'll just write that here, MTHFR. Um, that's not a swear word. It's an acronym for something really, really long that means you do not methylate. Um, for those people who have MTHFR, there are also other genetic variations that do not methylate like COMT, things like that. So this is not the only one, but it is more of a well-known one now. And you can Google it and there's gonna be things that pop up about methylation. So without a genetic test, because that's another way we find out, we do genetic testing and look at how your system um, is set up, right? But oftentimes when we talk about genetics, it's not just your genetics, right? Um, the phrasing is genetics loads the gun and your environment pulls the trigger right? Your, your environment, your lifestyle, your stressors, all that stuff, that's what pulls the trigger. Well, if genetics loads the gun, methylation turns off the safety. And then your environment and lifestyle and stressors pull the trigger. So it makes it easier for your system to break down. It makes it easier to have these issues. So if you're thinking about, oh my gosh, do, do I have a problem methylating? What are some signs and signals, right? Here are some. This is not an exclusive list. And... <laughs> There can be things where you're like, well, I only have that sometimes. Yeah, maybe your body's doing an okay job methylating sometimes and sometimes not. Yeah, yes, yes. So um, one of the first things that I'm gonna put down here, and again, this might not be that big of a surprise, but is brain fog. Brain fog, brain fog, just having um, foggy brain sometimes, again, this does not have to be all the time. It can be some days or weeks or month, months are worse than others for you. Um, stress also shuts down methylation. So if you are under stress and you notice that a lot of these things pop up for you more, good sign that your body does not methylate well. Um, red face with exertion. Exertion, exercise, that type of a thing. This is like anytime you push yourself, right? You get a super red face, like a lobster face. Now I can honestly say that this is something like, I'm an athlete, I've been an athlete my whole life. And there are different times in my life where I have been at different levels of fitness, right? Like having a baby and things like that. I'm not super in shape and then starting to work out, I'll be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm working out again. But I can tell that there's different moments in my life where I was really struggling with methylation. And that red face thing, I would be lobster face. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, but uh, really helpful. Uh, really helpful to know. <clears throat> sleep issues. Again, these can be really inconsistent, but having trouble getting to sleep, staying asleep, things like that. Getting consistent, deep, restful sleep um energy overall energy is decreased sometimes um people just talk about fatigue in general but your energy is really low and you have a hard time getting to do the things that you want to do on a regular basis that's a big key thing there too and then of course hormone issues I can't tell you the number of women that I work with that have a diagnosis of PCOS and endometriosis and all these other things. And then we look at things further for them. And I'm like, yeah, you're not methylating. You're not methylating. And that's what brings about the endo, the PCOS, the adenomyosis, the fibroid, all the things. Because methylation is so key to regulate your estrogen. So if you're not methylating, you're not regulating your own estrogen. Great, great, right? The other thing that goes along with this 
as any mood issues. This can be depression, anxiety, um, having panic issues, having really severe mood swings, stuff like that. Really bad PMS, all those things. This is part of a methylation issue overall. So keep that in mind. Um, muscle building is also not good. It's really hard to build and maintain lean muscle. Your body does not repair that muscle tissue quickly and easily. That's a big key thing that you're not methylating. Mm -hmm. um, any inflammation? I'm getting messy down here. Any inflammatory response? That you seem to get inflamed or react to a lot of different things. Having allergies, seasonal allergies, um, just allergies to certain foods, sensitivities to a lot of things. A key that you're not methylating well. Autoimmune. Autoimmune is highly connected with methylation. A lot of people that have autoimmune issues also have issues methylating. And again, chicken or egg? Egg or chicken? <laughs> so hard to know. Um, and then the last one I'm gonna talk about is just your overall immune response is decreased. So you will feel like you get sick um, easily have a hard time recovering or that you're like, yeah, I didn't used to be sick or I, I didn't used to get sick like this all the time. Now I am. What's going on? Methylation. Methylation. So how do we help your body methylate, right? Well, the first thing is to make sure that you're getting enough B vitamins. That's a big thing when we talk about that energy and fatigue. It's really hard for your body to process B vitamins well enough to actually get the energy from them that you should. So make sure that you are getting as much B vitamins from whole food sources as you can. And then if you are going to be supplementing, make sure you are using a methylated supplement that your body can actually use. Yes. You get what you pay for with this stuff. Um, also make sure that you are working with your stress levels, making sure you're regulating your nervous system on a daily basis. Do not let things run amok because that will be really, really hard on your body. If you are allowing yourself to get really stressed, it will shut down methylation really, really quickly. Um, things like sulforaphane help your body methylate. Sulforaphane is something that's found in cruciferous veggies. Um, but you know, a broccoli sprouts have a lot of sulforaphane in them. So you can get broccoli sprouts on a regular or just take a sulforaphane supplement to make sure your body's methylating. Make sure that you're sweating on a regular basis. You can use a sauna, you can work out to sweat, you can take a really hot bath or shower, but make sure you're sweating because that's also gonna help work through the system really, really well. So those are just a few things. Depending on what you have going on, oftentimes I give really specific recommendations when we are working together, but these are things that we dive into into the Female Hormone Solution Program. Again, um, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, and you know, author of the book, Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, great resources, talking about nutrition for your hormones, nutrition for your cycle, all of that. And this is something that I work with on a regular basis because it's so, so, so important. It's so important to make sure your body is methylating so that you can regulate your hormones as well as you can. Now, um, this detox support is really helpful for liver. Um, so you can find the links below as well, but this does help your system clear out with some of the methylation things that I've mentioned, as well as this, it can help regulate your system. And then my favorite thing for helping with this is this tincture for your adrenals and your stress levels. This will help your system not react so aggressively. So again, stress shuts down methylation. How do you help your stress levels? Using something like this a couple times a day, really, really easy and convenient to help manage your cortisol levels so you don't mess up your methylation when you're trying to work so hard on it. So that's what I got for you today. Let me know if you have any other questions. I do check the comments. Otherwise, I will see you later.